I'm Billy Merritt. I'm Kaylee, Mo Kaylee Merritt's mother. Um, she wants me to talk about scoliosis. Well, she went to all these doctor checkups, um, got, you know, her shots and everything, and they were watching scoliosis. Kaylee, out of the twins that I have, she is the one that had the severe um, case of scoliosis. Um, so we were in and out of the doctors quite a bit throughout the, her lifetime. Um, and they were watching it and watching it. So we went down and we made appointments and she was, uh, they wanted her to wear a brace, which she did not want to wear a brace. It was able to fit underneath her clothing. She still chose not to wear it. It was, she was in ele elementary school at the time. Um, that would have helped some, um, from her scoliosis. Um, it it probably would have corrected some of it so she wouldn't have to go have the surgery. Um, but we do, we did have the brace. She only wore it for a short period of time. Um, and then it, was, it, it seemed like it started working a little bit. So we had to keep straight, uh, the straps tightening up. Um, other than that, we were in and out of doctors for our checkups and making sure it didn't curve anymore. Um, and then as the years progressed, as she got older, um, she ended up going in and having surgery on her back, which took five and a half hours. Um, stressful. Um, five and a half hours. But the doctors were very good at keeping me updated on step by step what they were doing when they started. Um, that she was doing fine. Her breathing was fine until she was able to get out of the, um, get out and go into recovery. Then we were able to go into her room. Um, she stayed in the hospital up north, the Children's Hospital, for three days. Um, the nurses were, some of the nurses, the daytime ones, were awesome. They came in and checked on her, gave her her food. Um, got her up and moving around. She was able to walk around the room. Um, she even sat up in the chair for a few hours to watch some TV. Um, she is not one to lay in bed um, at a hospital. She had to get up and sit in the chair and move around a little bit, which is awesome because if you don't get up and move around, you can lose the mobility. Um, you could be in a wheelchair. Not okay. Um, but she did awesome. She did therapy in the hospital for the two days in recovery. Um, they made her walk up and down stairs, walk up and down hallways. Um, they made her walk um, certain amounts of feet um, every so often, every few hours. Um, she was able to get up and take a shower. She was able to get up and um, use... Uh, walk around when she needed to with help at that time. Um, she did really awesome and then she was able to come home. Um, we had to accommodate her on certain things um, as far as sleeping. Um, I never left her side. I was downstairs. I usually sleep downstairs, but for a whole month I slept next to her on the bed. Same with her sister. Um, if she needed anything throughout the night, she was to wake us up. We got up, we helped her out, go to the bathroom, got her her medicine, some snacks, water, whatever she needed. Um, and she pulled through. We went back and forth to the doctors for checkups and everything. And she has healed wonderfully. She still has um, some issues from time to time, but you know, she's overcome the scoliosis. Um, she's going back in. Um, this will be her five-year mark for her follow-up to make sure the rods are still straight, the screws are not bent, um, and just overall making sure she has no issues, that she's a complete healthy 20-year-old, doing 20-year-old things, um, videos, vlogs, just having, living life like a 20 year old should. Um, 
did need assistance, you know, showering when we first brought her home. She did need assistance in um, walking uh, for the first week and a half, but we had to walk short distances. There, we could not handle the walking um, long distances at this time, and the doctor gave her um, uh, like a little sheet how far she walked the first day, and then we stopped. Second day, she had to do a little further. Third day, a little further, just so that she can get the mobility back in there, get the blood flowing, so that she could feel comfortable with the rods and the screws. By the, she's got two rod, uh, two rods, and 25 screws to correct her scoliosis in her back. Um, but she has overcome a lot of stuff. She's a trooper. The five hours was very strenuous. But she's a healthy, great 20-year-old now. She's be getting ready to go back to work from the summer. Um, we have a whole binder of x-rays and information um, that they give you before you go in for scoliosis. So what you can do, what you can't do. Um, Sorry guys, our dog is done here. <laughs> what you can do, what you can't do. And in the first month, she was not able to even walk our little dog that we had. This dog was the gentlest thing. It would, She wouldn't pull. She wouldn't do nothing. She still couldn't hold the leash and walk with us. Kaylee could walk by herself, but we would have to hold the leash of the dog. Um, now, she takes three dogs for walks. Um... It's just, she just overcomes a lot of the triumphs and from the past. Um, she's Like I said, she's getting ready to go back to work. She's becoming a teacher for preschool kids. I can't, I can't, I can't see it, say anymore. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> so yeah, like my mom was saying, I like really overcame a lot of stuff and I wouldn't be where I'm at right now if I wouldn't be where I'm at right now if it wasn't for my sister and my mom. Um, but yeah, you guys. So on, I'm not sure how long this video is going to be. Um, and yeah, guys. Um, so before this video ends, I just want to say if you guys do see me out in public. Make sure you guys come up to me, say hi. Um, make, if you guys want a picture, go ahead. Let's get, you know, let's take a picture. Um, and yeah, so I was at Sam's Club today. This is July thirtieth. Uh, I think July thirtieth, twenty twenty three is when I'm making this video. I will also put it at the beginning of this video too. So yeah, so whoever recognized me today at Sam's. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Um, and I love you guys. So, hey guys, this is the end of the video. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Uh, I love you guys so much. Um, but, yeah, you guys. So, like, yeah.